Yo, hey, this shit hey. easy, nigga. Hey, I'm talking about, nigga, I'm still out here trying to get it. Contender regime boxing checking back in with y'all, man. What's happening? Say, and this ain't gonna be no long video. I just wanted to chime in on something, man. Like Canelo Alvarez, very, very skilled fighter. Um, very skilled fighter, incredibly talented. But dude get a he get a pass on a lot of bullshit. A lot of bullshit. And people like to, you know, people like to bypass you know, the shit, the, the relationship that he got with the peep with the WBC. You know what I'm saying? Of course, we all know when he got popped for clenbuterol, the WBC, they put in, they, they full force went to WADA to, in order for them to change the drug policies for clenbuterol to up the limit of clenbuterol that's acceptable for these fighters just to accommodate Canelo Alvarez. You know what I'm saying? Bruh, these sanctioning bodies are ridiculous, dog. This shit don't make no sense. They really all about the money, bruh. And it's getting more and more ridiculous as the days go. They doing all this just so they can keep Canelo, you know, cutting them a check, pretty much. You know what I'm saying? So... You know, Canelo Alvarez, I've been saying this for the longest. Like I said, very, very skilled fighter, but dude moves so strategic. It's like, have he really ever been in the ring with a real threat? Like every top guy he'd have never beat was either old as fuck, over 34, 35 years old, old as fuck, aside from Laura, which he arguably lost that fight. I think Laura was like 31, 32, something like that. But everybody that he beat, literally either old as fuck, 35 and up, you know what I'm saying, past their prime, washed up, or they done been knocked out before. You know what I'm saying? Danny Jacobs, Amir Khan, you know what I'm saying? Like he haven't, a uh, 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 fucking Kovalev, you know what I'm saying? It's like every matchup is like fucking incredibly favorable for Canelo Alvarez. I really, I you can say he got a great resume because of the names. But these names, it's like you got to take some of the luster off of these names because the way he set it up is is always going to be a favorable matchup for him. So, for instance, the WBC just ordered immediately after Benavidez, he got stripped of his title for um, for missing weight in his last fight versus Angulo. You know, David Benavidez has been calling out Canelo for the longest, been calling him out. You know what I'm saying? Canelo don't want no smoke. He not even paying no attention to Benavidez. But as soon as Benavidez gets stripped, now they order Canelo versus um, uh, Avril Yildrum. Some dude, I don't even know who this dude is. Avril Yildrum for the vacant title. They basically handing Canelo the WBC belt at 168. You know what I'm saying? Then you see how he tried to do Caleb Plant. He don't want to fight Benavidez, Caleb Plant. He don't want to fight Charlo. He don't want to fight no real threats. You know what I'm saying? Nobody that's young, that ain't used to losing, that ain't never been knocked out, that's really, that's vibrant, confident, that's used to winning. He don't want to fight nobody like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying that he can't beat these guys, but they, he not even willing to take on a challenge. You know what I'm saying? Like, that shit crazy. He already at odds with Golden Boy at the zone. Because, you know, they want him to fight a, somebody that's really about something. But he's saying, look, I want to fight a bum, basically. You know what I'm saying? You, he could have fought Caleb Plant. He could have set up, set up the Caleb Plant fight for this September. You know what I'm saying? But now nah, he tried to offer Caleb Plant a fight that was scheduled two months away from Caleb Plant's fight that he just had. You know what I'm saying? So he can do how he did do Caleb Plant like he did Kovalev, set up a fight 10 weeks from your last fight date. You know, every top fighter know you need at least two months to rest and recover from the training camp, let alone the fight, but the camp that you had to prepare for the fight. And then after those two months of rest, you need another eight to 10 weeks to train and prepare for your next fight. You know what I'm saying? So of course, Caleb Plant wasn't going to take that fight, but Canelo knew that shit. He knew Caleb Plant wasn't going to take that shit. But when Caleb said, I'll be ready for September, let's make the fight for September. Canelo and them didn't want to get back to him. 
know what I'm saying? Like, this shit crazy, bro. They literally about to hand this man a title at 168 when he could have fought Benavidez. Now, all of a sudden, you you interested in the the one the, uh, WBC belt at 168 because Benavidez don't got it no more. Like, come on, bro. This shit crazy. This shit don't make no sense, bro. Like I said, I like Canelo's game, but at the same time, bro, it's like these matchups is getting ridiculous now. I have yet to see Canelo in there with somebody that wasn't either one old as fuck or two that already been KO'd before, that haven't been KO'd. That's his, all, if you look at his resume, all his, the top guys that he fought, they either was old as fuck or they've been knocked out multiple times before. It don't make no sense, bro. I mean, th that's a great strategy to keep Canelo at the level that he at and make him look like this huge star, you know what I'm saying? And keep putting him in there with names that sound good, but these guys really are like at the tail end of their career, shells of themselves. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't try and don't say, you, you can't say, well, he just taking over the blueprint of what Mayweather did. Nah, this nigga taking this shit to a whole nother motherfucking level. You know what I'm saying? Floyd fought Diego Corrales undefeated in his prime. Undefeated. You know what I'm saying? He fought Ricky Had undefeated. You know what I'm saying? Prime. These are champions. He fought Marcos Maidana when Marcos Maidana was coming off the best win of his career in his prime. The hardest hitter at 147. Fought him two times in a row. You know what I'm saying? Like Floyd Mayweather done fought. He fought Canelo un undefeated. You know what I'm saying? Canelo undefeated. Canelo tried to do this same shit with Floyd, but got his ass whooped. Floyd was 36, about to be 37 years old. Canelo tried to do the same shit with Floyd, but it backfired, though. You know what I'm saying? Canelo taking this cherry picking shit to a whole... Di di what he does, what they do, Golden Boy and Canelo, this shit is the definition of cherry picking. I mean, he picking these motherfuckers when they ripe. He picking these motherfuckers on the dime, like, when they ready to go. I don't, it's like, but that's a talent. That's a skill. So I got to salute Canelo for that. I got to give him credit because it's like he know they know exactly when they ripe for the picking. And he get them motherfuckers at the right time where they still got a good of enough name left. But they not the fighter that they nowhere near the fighter that they ever was. You know what I'm saying? So he get them at the perfect time. You feel me? Like. This shit crazy, bro. He, they really finna get his man a title at 168, the WBC, when he could have fought Benavidez for it. But he stayed. Benavidez been calling Canelo out for damn near two years. You know what I'm saying? What really for a year since he fought Darrell. You know what I'm saying? He been calling Canelo out. Canelo don't want no smoke. Now all of a sudden, they order the, the Canelo to fight for the vacant title after Benavidez gets stripped. Do you think they would have ordered Canelo to fight Benavidez if Benavidez still had the belt? Hell no. Come on, bro. Bro, these sanctioning bodies, the only real sanctioning body that's, that's respectable is the IBF, dog. That's it. They only got one champion. Ain't no super champion, interim, light, light blue belt champion and fucking, you know, amateur champion and all this. Almost shoulda, coulda, woulda been the champion type shit like no nah, bro there's one champion in the IBF everybody else on that bullshit dog you know what I'm saying this shit crazy bro this shit crazy man y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments man continue regime boxing I holla at y'all boys man